Hi there, I'm Chris Sulwecki. I'm one of the pastors at Amazing Grace Christian Church in Grove City, Ohio, practicing social distancing, sitting on my deck on a beautiful Wednesday morning. You know, we are faced every day with countless decisions. And let's be honest, some of the choices we have to make in these days are different and more challenging than we're used to. Maybe you've seen the memes out there on social media with people out sh scraping off the bumper sticker from uh, their car saying, my child is an honor roll student, with the response being, well, I guess homeschooling didn't go very well this week. We're all put in situations that we've never been in before, responding to things in ways we've never responded before. And yet, as Charles Swindoll said many years ago, life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we respond to it, how we react to it. The Apostle Paul in the book of Romans chapter 7 spends a good portion of that chapter talking about the fact that he does things he shouldn't do while refusing to do the things that he knows he should do and that he wants to do. And when he comes down to it, his analysis of the situation is not necessarily that he's a bad person because he's been transformed by the blood of Christ. His response is, it's not me that's doing these things, but it's the sinful nature living within me. We all have two natures. There's an old poem that a good friend of mine read to me and said to me many, many times over the course of my ministry career early on. It says, two natures beat within my breast. One is foul, one is blessed. One I love, one I hate, but the one I feed will dominate. What nature are you feeding? Are you in the Word? Are you praying? How can you best impact your world by responding rightly with every decision that you have to make? That is, how do you treat other people? How do you respond in a time of crisis? How do you deal with the long lines in the grocery store or not finding the things you need? Consider that and consider that God created you to reflect His glory, to shine His light. And now go and do it by making the right choice and reacting to the things around us the best way you know how. Can I pray for you? Heavenly Father God, I love you and I thank you for today. I thank you for this opportunity to share in the sunshine with my friends. And I pray your blessing on each of them as they continue to navigate this time. Father, we love you. We thank you for loving us. And we thank you for the truth that you have us in the palm of your hand. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it's been good talking to you. Tonight at 7 o'clock, I'm doing an online Bible study on Zoom on the Minor Prophets. If you're interested in that, you can email me at chris at myagcc.org. Chris at myagcc.org. And uh, don't forget Pastor Tom's sermon this coming Sunday. Got a lot of great things coming up, so pay close attention to the Amazing Grace Facebook page, and I uh, look forward to talking to you again down the road. Have a great day.